friends, welcome to Musings by Masha. I am filming this video today to share a close-up look at and with that my review of the newest addition to, uh, of, to my tarot library in this whopping 90 cards personal Madrona Tarocchi recently completed and handmade by one of my favorite card makers Marco Benedetti. This tarot is a delight and a treasure and a lesson in illuminated historic tarots too. Look, if you have clicked on this video, you probably already know that the surviving original of the Visconti Madrona Tiero, also known as Carriel uh, Visconti, which goes back to 1440s, is rather incomplete with only 67 cards remaining, out of which only 11 are the cards of the, uh, of the major arcana. So, Marco's goal with these cards was uh, to make the complete package, if you will, available to us. If you have seen my previous interviews with Marco and uh, a few of my reviews of his decks, you also have heard that Marco's intention with uh, his, uh, especially with the complete completion, compl the decks that he has completed, his uh, main intention is to take the cards, to take Tiero out of the museums and to deliver it into the hands of readers. That is to say is uh, his uh, mission, if you will, is uh, to restore and to complete the incompleted decks, to make them functional, to make them ready for us to use for readings, for divination, and to make these decks available to us uh, Tiero readers to rejoice in or I, I well, for me, as you can see, my collection of Marco Benedetti's decks is is quite comprehensive now. Not all of them, but I'm like very close, right? So with that, we have, as I mentioned, now access to this newest uh, baby of Marco's in uh, his personal Madrone Tarocchi. A challenging project, as you will see as I talk about the cards, a challenging project that I think Marco Benedetti excelled in. Before I even attempt to try to do justice to this magical tarocchi and uh, the incredible work that Marco put into the completion of his personal Madrone terror, for those of you who are already interested in these cards and to uh, those of you who like to go to the source, I recommend uh, playing back, uh, watching a replay of the conversation Marco and I had last weekend about uh, this deck, about everything that you may have questions about or want to know about uh, his personal Madrone. Also, uh, I will link an incredible, very detailed essay written by Cheryl Smith on her blog, which uh, covers this deck in detail as well. Now, if you're new to this deck, uh, you may ask why 90 cards, uh, right? Well, our familiar decks, our familiar 78 card tarot decks have three virtues, three cardinal virtues. Here it's four, so uh, of strength, justice, and temperance. In this tarot, we will witness the fourth cardinal virtue, prudence, so that's an extra card. Then three cards, three theological virtues, they are original to Visconti Madrone, so that will make it four, right? So one prudence plus uh, uh, three cardinal virtues, so that's four extra cards. Then in our court cards, we are familiar with having four court cards, right? So we have page, knight, uh, 
queen and king where in the madrona in the visconti di madrona tiero we are with six chords right so we will have two pages a male and a female two knights a male and a female and then a qu the queen and the king so that makes it two cards surplus pursuit making it eight and then add four virtue cards and we are with the 12 extras add to that 78 and we arrive at the as i mentioned whopping 90 card tarot key it all hopefully like as you watch my video hopefully it will all make sense and of course now we are going to finally have a look at uh, this uh, personal madrone before we look at this dear card by card though please allow me to mention the craftsmanship that has gone into this beautiful version of Marco Benedetti's personal madrone. So my deck is smaller and I did want it the smaller shuffleable size uh, and comes in this two-part telescopic box. On the cover of the box we see the world card and uh, the box itself is just slightly off-white a handmade box where the inner part of the box features the pattern of the backs of these cards and here we read uh, Marco Benedetti personal madrone fatto a mano made by hand in Rome in July this year so it's a very very new deck of Marco's uh, that's the box from the inside and um, these are the bags and while i'm on it just have a look um these cards uh, and as i mentioned that mark asked me which version i wanted and i wanted the smaller and uh, easier to shuffle than the other version that he offers so we have laid paper on both sides this beautiful art paper with the wonderful the most delicious texture that marco uses and as you can see here with this texture that the orientation of in this card is uh, horizontal where if you've seen my videos of marco's uh, marseille decks the orientation of the late paper is vertical let me just show you from the front of the card as well how beautiful they are let me bring in the full so you do see the texture here with the light and the colors are absolutely magnificent they almost look illuminated right they are printed but they almost give us the glimpse of how those cards would have looked if um, they were embossed gold or with the gold embossing. As we begin to look at the first card, let me emphasize what Marco mentioned himself. His uh, personal Visconti Madrone is uh, not a restored deck, but a completed one. And how remarkably completed too, as you're about to see. Look, out of the 67 preserved uh, uh, cards of the original Visconti di Madrone, also known as Kerry Yale Visconti. Only 11 original trumps have survived, and I will point out those along with where other cards uh, were bought of trump as we go through the trumps of this new to me beauty of a tarocchi. So, with the fool, and Marco did buy from the Visconti Sports, I acquired a few cards, so I'm just kind of bringing this one as the example. So for the full, Marco used the Visconti, because well, the full didn't survive. Uh, Visconti Sports at Tierra for his uh, personal madrone. And here we are with the beautiful magician. Just look at the colors, and the magician is also borrowed from the uh, Sforza deck just the borders oh it's just a delight it's a, such a such a magnificent work from marco the pope also comes from the visconti sforza tiero texture the empress is uh, original with um, her attendants there 
and the gowns also the gowns are magnificent i've been looking at the clothing i do love fashion in winter uh, but yeah with magnifying glass and uh, and also uh, in the visconti di madrona the faces are just so so very gentle soft and beautiful the emperor again is the original card where the Pope once again is borrowed from the Sforza Tarot. But if you have a look again on the US Games reproduction and the colors and the sharpness of the images and Marco's deck, you, I mean, you can't even compare right? the handmade on the slate paper with the colors. Um, And here we are with the lovers, or which used to be known as the love card, the original to the Visconti di Madrone. And this card is just such a sweet and romantic card, even. In fact, Cheryl Smith on her blog refers to the Madrone Tero as being one of the most romantic and feminine decks of the 15th century. And I wholeheartedly agree, do you? But then in this beautiful card, uh, we are most likely witnessing the marriage of Bianca Visconti to Francesca Sforza, who the hand-mainted illuminated Visconti di Madrona Tarocchi cards were commissioned for as a wedding gift. And uh, the little white dog here is so cute and is a symbol of marital fidelity and then the chariot charioteer card um, features perhaps the wedding procession uh, with uh, this uh, character being bianca maria visconti herself and then temperance temperance card marco borrowed from uh, ercole d'este uh, deck so you can see and uh, you can see the differences of the more kind of facsimile copy although this one is from marco also with the modified one that marco included in his personal madrone and uh, i find this temperance very beautiful in fact i featured her as one of my favorite temperances and top tarot trumps because of the beautiful colors and the beautiful glow that uh, this uh, um, this temperance has now moving on to the virtues uh, here i um, have to mention that we are with uh, seven virtue cards four cardinal virtues and three theological so this is the uh, strength and that's the original beautiful strength card and justice, justice comes from the Visconti, uh, Visconti Sforza Tiero as well, but modified with the horse with the knight on top removed. And uh, in my view, Marco's card is so much better proportioned with the uh, justice fitting into the card than we see in the Sforza Tiero. And then for the fourth virtue, fourth cardinal virtue, uh, being prudence, uh, Marco borrowed from uh, a large painting, uh, well, in fact, uh, uh, from one of the virtue series of large panel paintings commissioned from Piero del Palaiolo. I do actually have here a photo of this original uh, that I took at the Uffizi Gallery in Florence last year. So that's the original and that's uh, Marco's modified version of it. Beautiful, beautiful paintings. Those, uh, those series of paintings uh, featuring seven virtues are and uh, now we are with three original cards and they are the theological virtues so here we are with faith charity and uh, hope 
And once again, I just wanted to bring your attention to the beautiful faces, beautiful, beautiful faces, idyllic, sweet faces of uh, the Visconti di Madrona original cards. And uh, then we move to the Hermit. Oh, the Hermit used to be known as Il Vecchio, the old man, and the Hermit is also from the Visconti Sforza deck borrowed from and then we are here with the wheel and the wheel card is from Visconti Brambilla the illuminated deck that only has two surviving majors major arcana cards uh, one of them being the beautiful wheel of fortune the original of which I saw in Pinacoteca di Brera in Milan so this one was the 15th century original with all the original colors of course will be an original Olympias. Uh, and uh, the golden embossing, absolutely glorious, magnificent uh, art in, um, in the Brambilla and uh, Marcos version is uh, beautiful, very beautiful too indeed. Now the hangman also comes from the Sforza, Marco borrowed it from Visconti Sforza but beautiful beautiful um, background beautiful light these cards they they just glow and uh, it's probably as close as we can get to a, an illuminated deck this in our modern age death is uh, the original card to the Visconti di Madrona and what an incredibly superb this death card is I love how well defined are uh, those faces uh, at the bottom and uh, the horse is rather adorable too. And uh, then we have the devil and this image is from the last judgment uh, frescoes from the series of frescoes known as last judgment uh, by Tadeo di Bartolo. So this is the fresco of hell, right? So it's a series of frescoes and devil comes of course from the a fresco depicting the hell. Interestingly, in all illuminated tarot, devil card is missing, which makes us wonder, but let's not deviate from the focus of this video, and that's Marco's personal Madrone. Another added card to this deck is uh, this uh, tower, which was suggested uh, to Marco by Alexandra, and she's one of the members of terror history groups of some other groups, and is very knowledgeable in art history, and, and I think this tower card is superb. In fact, I would say uh, this is one of, if not, the best uh, of uh, tower cards that I have seen included in a tarot deck. And then come the three beautiful celestial cards to complete which Marco used images from other sources. So for the star, Marco used uh, the 19th uh, century painting called, as you can see, uh, The Birth of Venus by Gustave Moreau. I'm spacing her here. Then uh, for the moon card, the moon is the beautiful Diana from the later 19th century uh, Giovanni di Vacchetta Tiero. And the sun and uh, the sun is uh, the Apollo and uh, this card I have from Marcos Dac. You probably would have seen it on my channel from uh, the Mitele Tarocchi. 
I also I, I very much love the three celestial cards they're just very beautiful and I think they're coherent let me know what you think with the additional images and that they I think they go well together but the stop detail I absolutely adore as well and the top detail uh, is from Charles VI Tiaro as we see here also in the sun card so there are our three celestial cards and uh, the judgment is the original two and um, all the decks are often referred to as the angel card the world is also the original and in my view the world is one of the most stunningly beautiful world cards ever marco mentions the woman the here that we see the woman pre, uh, residing over presiding even over the world most likely to have been again bianca visconti as we see through the visconti di madrona deck and this is of course as you remember the image of the charietia and uh, these are the 11 surviving original cards from the Visconti di Madrone Tiero and they just they, the beauty of these cards I mean the beauty of the originals and the beauty of Marco's uh, Marco's completion of this deck Marco's version of these uh, cards um, I just I'm lost for words here so we're moving on to the suit of coins let's um, let's go through the minors and uh, this is the ace of coins featuring the coat of arms of the Visconti Sforza family and when it comes to the coins only the three of coins card was uh, missing and Marco uh, replaced it with um, the three coins that um, that exists in the Brambilla, in the Visconti Brambilla Tierra, just a little lighter. So there are the coins. And then this deck, as I mentioned before, it uh, Visconti di Madrone has six court cards per suit. So here we are with um, the female, female page and a female a knight of coins. Uh, the court cards in Visconti di Madrone are again magnificent. And um, then the male page and male knight. As the Knight of Coins uh, wasn't finished off by the original artist, Marco completed this card by finishing off this golden dress. And uh, here we are with the Queen and the King of Coins, which are the originals, and they are beautiful indeed. I mean, one can spend hours and hours and hours staring at uh, these illuminated cards. And uh, now moving to the suit of cups, uh, all of the, from 1 to 10, all of them are the original. So this is the reproduction of the original cards, only that Marco enhanced uh, the ace to make it more recognizable, to make it more prominent but uh yeah just a quick look as you have seen also in the suit of coins and uh, on this uh, four of cups card that some of the cards are on a darker background and that is due to the use of the silver of the silver embossing in the originals which are due to oxidation with time turned uh, rather very dark as we see in some cards more than uh, others 
but they just beautiful again beautiful artwork now moving to the courts of the suit of cups so again here we are with the female page female knight male page um male knight uh, queen and the king of cups in my interview with Marco, Marco talked in great detail about the court cards and how he constructed some of the court cards, uh, not just in the suit of cups, but other three suits as well, as you will see up close. And uh, if we have a look at um, the, just to give you an example, so this is the female knight of cups and um, I've just shown you the suit of coins. So what we see in uh, this image, so the female knight of cups is the mirror image of the female knight of coins with the floral headpiece being from the page from the female page of cups this uh, floral beautiful floral headpiece now marco refers to this approach as a self-loan right and uh, self-loan is simply using the other card or cards from another part of the deck to complete the missing card as we are here with the completed one by Marco using the self-loan from uh, the female page of coins and from the page existing page of cups for as I mentioned for the headpiece then we also have uh, the self loan in the queen of cups uh, who is mirrored again a mirror image of the queen of coins only that the dress is uh, painted red by marco but otherwise it's a uh, identical image but in a reverse and that's the king. Marco, in our conversation, also shared the important detail in how mirroring was done in the original cards. And he did bring, a f bring out a few examples. So please, if you're interested in this deck, do watch the live conversation I had with Marco. And now we're moving to the suit of, well, batons or arrows. As you will see, our buttons here are arrows. Well, you probably see here a little bit better the pointy uh, arrows that we have for the uh, miners, for the pip cards from Ace to Tian. And as you will see, we'll have cords with more buttons, not arrows. just to give you a view of those but uh, look at the gown again the gowns uh, of the female courts to me are very very appealing and uh, those patterns and the colors that they just make me very very happy so yeah we had the female page a female knight of uh, batons the male knight uh, was recreated by Marco and I will leave you to check it for yourself where Marco shares the more details uh, about reconstructing the male knight using the Visconti Brambilla in our conversation. I have mentioned our interview a few times now for you, but yes, I will refer you to it. But look, look at the face of this knight, which is borrowed from the batons, from the same suit, from the page of batons. Beautiful queen. And uh, the king, the king of batons is again a self-loan and this king is self-loan from the king of coins. 
as you can see mirror images here once again yet as we are with the suit of uh, batons here suit of arrow suit of batons here the dress pattern uh, of this king was borrowed and the coloring was borrowed from the queen of the same suit all right now swords a suit of swords but you can see, and I hope my camera does the card justice, they almost look like they feature gold foiling, although they are printed. That's how good, how quality Marcos printing is. So we have the female page and female knight. Uh, they're the original cards, the male page was borrowed from the Visconti Sforza and so so has been the Knight uh, Knight of Swords also from the Visconti Sforza but Marco of course used the lighter carpeted backgrounds which uh, uplift the cards nicely and uh, I trust these ones are the original again, the Queen and the King of Swords. Now that we have had a close look at all of these cards with these magnificent bags, one thing is left for me is to shuffle them. And I have been waiting for this moment for a little while as I resisted and I kept this uh, personal madrona taroki in order for my video with Marco and then for another few days before making this video of mine. So I'm very excited and as you can see these cards, they, uh, they shuffle delightfully. They are an absolute joy to handle and the sound, this ethereal, airy sound. They make uh, due to being handmade on this um, magnificent late paper that Marco uses. They they just a true, true delight. Look, uh, this personal Madrone from Marco is uh, such a unique deck, which not only, as we have seen showcases, the idyllic beauty of the remaining of the surviving original uh, Visconti Madrone cards, but also this tarot honors other illuminated tarots and all in this 90 card, very special pack of cards indeed let me just lay a few cards for us just to see how they look next to each other and so we are here with the king of coin page of cups ten of coins Eight of coins. It's a very good sign to see these cards coming in the reading. Prudence, okay, yeah, so that's the additional cardinal virtue from uh, Palaiolo's uh, virtue paintings and a knight of batons. So since we got three court cards appearing here, I guess it's good for me to emphasize once again and to, well, of course, you know now that uh, each uh, each suit has uh, six six court cards in this tarot in Marco's personal Visconti Madrone. So we have a male page, female page, male knight, female knight, uh, queen and the king for each suit 
And uh, for those of us who don't want to have six court cards per suit, we can determine our male and female ratio. And I love that because especially if we know who we're doing readings for, right? So uh, who do we have more uh, as the court? So we can decide on... Uh, how many males, how many females out of six we would keep. And yeah, so if we decide to opt for the family of four cards, plus again, extra virtues. But for now, I'm kind of gonna play with this tarot. So I'm going to keep all of the cards in a pack, all 90 of them, as of course the idea is all 90 cards can be used or 18, uh, 12 cards can be taken out if you are after this familiar structure of tarot. I hope you enjoyed geeking out on these splendid cards with me today. Even though I have gone past 30 minutes in this video and our conversation with Marco also went for a while, if one tarot deck is deserving of all the time, this is it. I am so very grateful for your time and I thank you for spending a part of your day with me. I am very curious to know your thoughts on this uh, personal Madrone by Marco Benedetti, a tarot that is an integration of the Visconti di Madrone, of course, but also with other illuminated decks and a few pieces of art from the 14th 15th and 19th century. I am sending much love to you all my friends and I will catch you in the next one.